What's up guys, Baker here, coming at you with another tutorial, and I am still sick. Uh, this time we got the 3D Flip in After Effects, and uh, it's pretty cool, it looks like this. <coughs> so, there might be a preset in like Vegas or something, or I don't know, but I like to create my own effects and uh, from scratch and stuff, so here we go. Uh, you're going to have in your uh, your main comp with the, with your clips, right, and stuff. And, um, they can be overlapping a little bit. <coughs> so you're going to have your two clips. And what you're going to want to do is create a new null object. Okay. And turn all of these three layers into 3D layers by clicking the little box thing. And uh, we'll zoom in a little bit. And you want to use this parent button and parent the two clips to the null. Just like that. Okay. So whatever we do to the null, the, uh, the clips will follow. So what's going to happen is uh, we'll go about a half a second from the the overlap split. So like if I just move this over here, you can kind of see where that is. Right around there, go to the null, push R for rotation, keyframe the Y rotation in this case, and then try to go the exact same distance on the other side of the cut and flip this to 180 or negative 180. Now you'll notice <coughs> our second clip is backwards. So to fix that, we'll go to our second clip, push R, Y rotation, 180. And that's it. So we'll go and I'll just flip and this will look normal. I know it's kind of easy, <coughs> but just wanted to get another tutorial transition done. And to make it a little bit nicer, you can uh, highlight these two keyframes, right click and go to uh, Easy Ease. It'll smooth it out when it uh, comes back. And <coughs> the reason why First of all, that we wanted it spaced out evenly is because at the uh, when the layer is facing you, it switches and you can't really tell when it's like that. And you can add some motion blur. So push these two buttons and the motion blur for the comp, and you get a little bit of motion blur when it spins around. And uh, what's cool about this <coughs> is you're not keyframing the the layers; you're just keyframing the null. So if you don't want it to flip that way, you can just go ahead and you know, delete these and reset them, and then go on this side, and then keyframe maybe the X rotation. Go over here and keyframe that to 180. But then again, we got to fix our uh, scrapyard thing, so you just fix it with those rotations. So now we have the clip, and it flips this way, and it's cool because you're only working with two keyframes, and you're not working with, you know, four, and you're not doing uh, alignments and making sure the values all match and stuff. But that's about it. So, um, quick transition tutorial. Yep, that's about it. Okay, go ahead and like the video, guys. And uh, I'll try to get better soon. Peace.